Welcome to Other Levels. In today's tutorial we'll be exploring the Workflow Automation Tracker Report created with Microsoft Excel. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced Excel user, this video will teach you how to leverage key features to build a dynamic and interactive report that keeps your projects on track. Before we dive into the details, let's highlight the powerful features of this template. Project Name Clearly identify the project you're managing. Project Start Date Easily define the official start date of your project. Project Process Percentage Instantly monitor and track the overall project completion rate. Dynamic Search Bar Quickly search for any text within the Task and Responsibility column to streamline task management. The Task Management Fields Task Title Responsibility Remarks Task Duration Status and task process percentage. The task process percentage bar chart. Visually track progress at a glance, giving you real-time insights into task completion. Workflow calendar chart part. A comprehensive overview covering all 53 weeks of the year. Start weekday number and name. Get detailed insights into the start day of the project. This chart automatically highlights the project's duration from start to finish giving you a visual timeline of your project's progress. Navigation buttons located on the left side of the report. These buttons allow seamless switching between projects for better project management and overview. Don't forget to visit our website, other-levels.com, to download the templates and datasets used in this tutorial. Let's get started to create this workflow calendar chart. 1. Add the project start date. In cell G6, enter the project start date. This date will serve as the reference point for the entire workflow calendar chart, adjusting all other values based on this initial date. 2. Link the first column N8 to project start date. In cell N8, enter the formula, equals G6. This links cell N8 to G6, so whenever you update the project start date, the calendar chart will automatically adjust. 3. Populate year week numbers. The next 53 cells need to represent the year week numbers, so each cell must show a date exactly 7 days apart. In 08, enter the formula, equals N8 plus 7. Drag the formula across to the right to fill the remaining cells. Each cell will now show the next week number, incremented by 7 days. 4. Change the number format. Select all the cells containing dates in row 8 starting from N8 to the last week number, and change the number format to Custom and choose D. This will display only the day of the week in the cells. 5. Add year week numbers above the cells. In row 7, you can manually add or calculate the year week numbers corresponding to each week. Like, week 1, week 2, etc. 6. Show day short names in the cells below. Below the dates, in row 9, Add this formula in cell N9. This formula will show the short name of the day for each corresponding date in row 8. Drag it across to fill the rest of the cells. Conditional formatting setup for task duration. Now, let's highlight the task duration using conditional formatting. This will automatically adjust the highlighted days based on the task start date in G11 and task end date in H11. Select the range of year week numbers you want to apply the rule to. Go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the Formula box, enter the following formula. Equals N, N8 dollars greater than equals dollar G11. N8 dollars less than equals dollar H11. Explanation of this formula. N8 dollars greater than equals dollar G11. This checks if the date in cell N8 is greater than or equal to the task start date, G11. If true, the conditional formatting rule will apply. N8 dollars less than equals dollar H11. This checks if the date in cell N8 is less than or equal to the task end date H11. If true, the rule will still apply. The end function ensures that both conditions must be true for the formatting to apply, meaning that only the days within the task start and end date range will be highlighted. 5. Format the cells. After entering the formula, click Format, Choose the formatting options you prefer. 
such as a specific color to highlight the task duration, and then click OK. This setup will allow the workflow calendar chart to adjust dynamically based on the task start date and task end date, and it will highlight the appropriate range of dates automatically. Now, let's explain how to create the navigation buttons. First, insert a rectangle shape and position it to the left side of your Excel sheet. This will serve as the base for your navigation buttons, and fill it with gradient colors. 2. Add button shapes. Choose the proper button shapes from Excel's illustrations library. You can find various shapes, select the ones that fit your design and place them however you prefer. Three, add text boxes. Now, add text boxes and label them with the project numbers. For example, you can create text boxes for project one, project two, and so on. In this tutorial, we've created five projects in this Excel file. Now, it's time to link the text boxes to the corresponding project sheets. Select the first text box, labeled Project 1, right-click, and select Hyperlink. In the Insert Hyperlink dialog, choose Place in this document. Under Cell Reference, type A1, and choose the Project 1 sheet as the destination. Repeat the same steps for the text boxes labeled Project 2, Project 3, and so on. For each project, link the text box to the corresponding sheet. And that's all for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please share it with others and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer and help you out. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials on the channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Also, be sure to visit other-levels.com to download the templates and datasets used in this tutorial and explore our other products.